What's up Virgo? This is going to be a love forecast for the first half of September. Happy birthday to my Virgos who are celebrating this season. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It really helps out my channel. If you're new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. And if you ever can't get a hold of me or if you'd like to explore your options, I've put a link to Mystic Sense in the description box as well. They're a wonderful company that offers you access to so many brilliant psychics and readers all over the world. And if you use the link that I've provided they're going to give you the first five minutes free so check them out if you feel called to do so and otherwise um, if you would like to follow me on social media I've put the links to my TikTok and my Instagram in the description box as well so let's get stuck into it spirit what's coming in please I just saw the hermit card which is your energy Virgo um, what's coming in for my Virgo Virgo Sun Moon rising and Venus in the area of love first half of September. Nine of Swords as well, Virgo. A lot of planets are in Virgo. There's that Hermit card again. Um, we've got Mercury in Virgo. Mars right now as I'm filming this, though it's going to be moving into Libra. And the Sun in Virgo. So interesting. Um, any love messages for my Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? I just saw Three of Swords. You know, with Mercury retrograde, Virgo, this could be sort of looking back past returning, revising things from the past, healing, temperance card, the sun card is in the reverse, ten of cups in the reverse, knight of wands in the reverse. Well, Virgo, there is a sense of observation in a situation where maybe you've been connected to someone for a while. Temperance card is timing, patience. There's also maybe something that needs to be healed here between you and a person. Um, it's a situation where you feel it has not led to joy or happiness, um, or there's a lack of clarity as well. Um, you know, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. This could be an on-off kind of a situation. Someone that you have passion for, but um, it sort of dips in and out. Um, and it is testing your patience. The Sun card is in the reverse with the Knight of Cups and the Four of Swords. Okay. Also, Virgo with the Ten of Cups in the reverse. There seems to be this like idea of this would be a happily ever after, but it's not really eventuating that way. Um, and you could be in a, a rest state or a break from them. I have a Knight of Cups coming through. So this could be an offer. Um, someone may be wanting to heal something with you or repair something with you where there's been hurt feelings or separation or you know, broken heartedness. The Star card is in the reverse with the Page of Cups. There's, there's like some kind of a loss of hope here, Virgo. I mean, this is on your end, but I do feel like someone's coming through maybe wanting to give you an offer um, or an apology maybe. But there's also just stuff that needs to also be healed. You know, maybe you haven't quite yet healed from this. Um, let me just see why we've got Page of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. So there's there's someone coming in that wants to give you a cup of love. Um, Five of Swords, King of Pentacles. What I'm getting, Virgo, is perhaps because the timing factor is here, right? With this Temperance card, you've got someone coming in as a knight, but they're not coming in to offer you like that King of Cups... Um, the commitment. And what I'm getting is you might be dealing with someone, I mean, I've got King of Pentacles here, but Five of Swords. It's like you're not necessarily on the same page with this person because this person may be involved with someone else. Um, you know, we've got a, that Page of Cups, so there could be children in the mix here, something like that. I mean, we've got Eight of Cups as well. So I feel like this is someone that you've kind of disconnected from or you're, you're observing them and thinking, okay, it's not really serving me. I've lost hope in this situation. They haven't gone though, Virgo. Like I said, I think this person might be wanting to come in and, and make an offer to you, but there seems to be stress around long-term commitments and the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles is here. I mean, this is also you feeling you're not on the same page with this person in terms of what's the wisest investment for you for the long term, because King of Pentacles could very well be you thinking about that and thinking about your future and you've got Ten of Cups in the reverse here. So you're feeling like this isn't leading to joy and fulfillment for me. So I, I see you sort of disconnecting and wanting to walk away, though I don't think that this person is totally gone and they could be coming forward making a gesture. Um, what you feel they come forward with feels small. Um, they're definitely observing you, Virgo, or there's mutual observation. 
um, but you've been kind of biding your time. Seven of Pentacles is a situation that you've invested in and been waiting to see how it plays out. And there's stress, Five of Swords, around whether this would ever turn into Ten of Pentacles. Because the Seven of Pentacles, you need the Eight and the Nine in between. And maybe this person's not been putting the effort in um, because there's a block here, right? Or you're not on the same page. Let me get the cards on them anyway. The Knight of Wands, passion, but hot and cold, in and out, stop, start. Um, yeah, Emperor card in the reverse. You're dealing with someone that either has some massive issues with control, like that's sort of the distorted masculine energy. They don't want to open up too much. They don't want to give too much. Um, or there's a, you know, there's children in the mix here, and this is like a, you know, someone in a committed relationship. They're not able to kind of move forward and offer you that stability. The Emperor card in the reverse. Um, there could be daddy issues as well with that emperor card in the reverse, you know, which creates this sort of level of someone sort of not wanting to give too much or wanting to be in control. It can be a bit of a manip... I don't even know if manipulative is the right word. I mean, I think this could be someone that, you know, is just very cold or detached, you know. Maybe there's a lot of sexual attraction, um, but then they're not coming in. See, Ten of Cups is about our, our fulfillment. It's our... It's our vision for the future where we feel really emotionally fulfilled and that's in the reverse and the sun card is in the reverse. So it's like something within this situation is not really giving you joy or happiness, but it feels unfinished with the world card in the reverse, you know, or there's cycles with this person, Aries energy with the emperor, Sagittarius with the temperance card, Leo energy as well. Let me look at this person because I think they, they are returning or they're coming in again but i don't know where this is leading three of swords i mean there's hurt feelings between the two of you and heartbreak um what are they coming forward with towards virgo now in september i mean virgo that page of cups also could be you sort of page of cups eight of cups moving towards a different opportunity a new path um this person's lingering, but I feel like you're also thinking about what do you really want for the future, right? King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Um, the Ten of Cups in the reverse as well, Virgo. Oh my God, from a different deck. Seven of Wands in the reverse, the Devil card. This person's chained up in some way. Like there's a lot of desire between you and this person, Virgo, but I think that this person might be tied to someone else, something codependent. Like they could be in a codependent marriage or relationship or there's addictions at play here or massive family issues are playing into this, right? I said daddy issues, whatever. So on a deeper level, there's wounding here. Um, so there seems to have been a lack of persistence, seven of wands, um, because this person can't seem to break free of some kind of toxic pattern. With that devil card, two of swords, there's a stuckness, indecision, and then there's a king of cups. So... You know, this person, you know, they're coming in, I think, as a knight at the most. But how do they feel? I mean, they have a king of cups. So there is this sort of, there is love here. Or there's a lot of emotion. But the two of swords, it's like this person is always feeling very trapped, very stuck, very indecisive. It's like they have to break free from something. I have ace of cups, page of pentacles. So you could be getting a communication from this person, Virgo, and I think maybe they are hoping to have a new star, Ace of Swords, or, and a conversation, two Aces, because they do feel like you're disconnecting Eight of Cups. We've got double Eight of Cups due to Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, lack of forward movement, the Magician card in the reverse. There's unfulfilled potential here, but Virgo, I kind of feel like this person, there's something very toxic um, that this person's dealing with or that this person needs to deal with within themselves. There could be a lot of fear, um, you know, stemming from wounding and pain. Um, yeah, it's like this person... <laughs> Magician card in reverse can be manipulation. Maybe they're dealing with a lot of manipulation, Virgo. So that's the other thing. Um, I mean, this is Virgo energy, Magician card, and also Gemini, but... I feel like they want to have a conversation with you or express something to you or, or, or express a truth. You know, Two of Swords is also the blindfolds on. There's not sort of a lack of understanding of maybe where this, whether this could move ahead or how this could move ahead. The Fool card's in the reverse. This person could act a bit foolish or reckless in some way, okay, with that 
devil and and the full card in the reverse and there's also maybe a, a, an unreadiness to take that leap so the full card in the reverse to take a leap of faith towards you for something very committed and we have a king of pentacles over here right but you've both got the ten of cups in the reverse on either side and um there just seems to be something that's really blocking this there's an unreadiness, whether that is because this person is in a commitment with someone else or um, there's a block to them making a decision. Two of Swords. Um, let's have a look. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the Two of Cups in the reverse. So there's a soul connection here, um, but it feels like, I mean, the effect is you feel like it's one-sided. Um, I do feel like, Virgo, that they are, you know, the Devil card can be obsession. So they could be very obsessed with you. Um, it's just not coming up very healthy, Virgo. I've got that page of cups, but it's in the reverse. So look, there could be a bit of projection or um, mirroring because maybe this person, page of cups in the reverse could be not feeling like what's on offer is trustworthy. So there could also be trustworthy, trust issues coming up um, or fears. Page of cups in the reverse could be that inner child wounding, you see? But they somehow want to come out of the cold. So there's been a distance or a disconnect or... A coldness between the two of you. It's complicated, Virgo. Um, we've got Aquarius energy with the Fool and Capricorn with the Devil. Um, you are going to hear from this person, Virgo, but I also see you probably at this stage wanting to disconnect and wanting to move forward. And I, I think with that Page of Cups, there could be something else also on offer, like a new path, and that's not in the reverse. Something that feels more genuine or more in alignment for you. I feel like this person senses you're disconnecting, and this is why. It's almost an obsession, like they don't want to lose you, but then they're unready um, to take the leap and offer you that stable king and queen of pentacles energy. The ten of cups is still in the reverse. So it's, maybe this person doesn't believe in the ten of cups, you know, because whatever they've gone through, there's this uh, fear or limiting belief around it, or there's a lot of pressure from um, whatever they're dealing with, someone that maybe won't let go of them if they're in a family situation with someone else. You understand what I'm saying? It's a lot of indecision and stuckness. Um, there could be issues around finances, five of pentacles in the reverse. Maybe there's a fear of losing their financial position, something like that. Um, I can do also a mirrors because I really do think, Virgo, your focus now on your goals, what's going to align with your vision, king of pentacles, ten of pentacles, um, I'll just get the mystic black rose. Tell me about what's going on. Toxic. I think I said that a few times. Unhealthy delusions, nasty behavior. You know, um, guys, I just read what comes out. So I, please don't give me the comments of like, well, they're a narcissist and why, you know, why are we even talking about them? I don't know. Maybe it's in your energy. It is mercury retrograde. So people, things come back. You know, we've got jealousy, pettiness, rumors talking behind back, you could be dealing with someone where there is like unhealthy energies around them as well. And it could be a bit of that, you know, nasty behaviors, rumors, seaside peace, mistress flirting with others, the other woman, secret hookup, just saying drama. Okay. Drama queen, thirsty for attention. So if this person, you know, this person could be in something very toxic and then we've got decision, uncertain, stay or leave. Two of Swords, right? I said there's uncertainty in decision. Okay, and then sneaky, hiding from you behind the scenes, social media, fake profile. There's an obsession here. So even if you've taken a step back, Virgo, I really think this person, they're, they're watching you. Then we've got direction forward, past, there's history. So again, you know, why am I talking about someone that you have a past with? Well, because it just is, you know what I mean? Past dating, okay, one night stands, hooking up. So this is someone that, you know, maybe you're feeling like they've treated it as more of a hookup or something, but there seems to be a tie and an obsession type energy and extreme harshness, erratic decisions, cutting off and then moving. Maybe there's something about a move here. Maybe you're at a distance from this person as well. I mean, the full card is about, um, you know, taking that leap of faith, but it's also distance and travel. So, you know, maybe that's a factor. Maybe there would need to be a move and it is a lot of indecision about the direction forward. Now I've got revenge, retaliation. 
So either this is because the two of you, there's been a lot of defensiveness and this kind of, you know, harsh energy, harshness, erratic energy, um, or there's retaliation or a fear of retaliation if this person is tied up in something and they would need to, you know, move forward, move on. Um, this also says empty shell. So there's something really, this person, whatever they're dealing with or whatever wounds that they have, you know, it creates this real, it's toxic and it creates also this sense of emptiness. Like this person needs to reconnect with self. We've got spirit, divine intervention, shielding, protected aura. So spirit's also protecting you, Virgo. So you don't need to worry if things aren't working out. It might be because they're not working out for a reason um, or, or timing is needed. There's divine intervention. Also, this person could be getting um, signs from spirit or being led to make certain changes right um, because it looks to me like changes need to be made on their end yeah witchcraft negativity there's a spell someone is hexing uh, so there's something holding this person um, back a lot of negativity um, and then we've got locked locked away heart can't move forward which is sort of like that distorted control energy this person's so scared maybe of opening their heart or there's something holding them back where they can't move forward with signs so they could be getting a lot of signs from spirit and you know people you know the spirit trying to lead them in the right direction and then i've got that getaway maybe they want to take a trip or travel towards you run away together begin an adventure so there's a lot of this uncertainty right stuck can I go, do I need to stay where I am? Or can I do this or am I too stuck in fear or toxicity? You understand what I'm saying, Virgo? Um, so maybe this isn't for everyone, but this is what the message is. Um, make the effort, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Heart to heart conversations. Yeah, there's something about them wanting to have this conversation with you, Ace of Swords, or clarify something with you. I've got codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this is either actual like addictions, codependency, that's really taken hold of this person, um, which usually will stem from a wound that needs to be healed, right? Or there's a codependent relationship of sorts that this person needs to break away from. You understand what I'm saying? You deserve love, you are lovable. So you definitely are lovable, Virgo. Um, there's the lesson that's wrapped up in that for you. And I think this person on some level does see you as lovable. We've got that King of Cups there. Uh, work on your partnership, let, uh, give your relationship a chance, let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. This person has a hard time letting go of control because there's a fear, right? Or being vulnerable. I also feel like maybe there's something keeping this person under control, whether that's a toxic commitment, relationship, toxic family, um, toxic friends. I've got let your friends help you. So, uh, Maybe they're getting advice from people, but maybe the wrong people, or maybe conversely, you have friends that are connected between the two of you and maybe there's some kind of a link there. I don't know. We've got clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. There's this indecision, but then I've got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning with soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, Virgo. So I feel like you're not, you're not probably feeling ready to kind of take this Leap, I feel like this person's not entirely ready to take the leap. There's a lot of uncertainty still, but I think they want to express something to you, um, have an honest conversation. Um, yeah, let me just get an Amira's Oracle. Okay. Um, past life, deja vu, past love. So it's someone from the past or that you have memories with, but it's the deja vu. So maybe you feel like this just keeps kind of going around and around. Children, so that... There could be children here and that could be what's affecting the situation or this is childishness or childhood wounding, childlike. But maybe when it's good, Virgo, you also have that kind of nice, fun, childlike sort of energy. Um, distance. Okay. So for some of you, yes, distance is a factor. There also could be sort of just that feeling of emotional distance. Um, true gem, quality, valuable. Mature woman, socialite, connector, high society. <laughs> well, some of you, this person doesn't want to lose out on something because, like I said, if they're tied up in another commitment, they could be not wanting to lose their status or not wanting to lose out financially. 
communication, texting, phone calls online. You're gonna get communication from this person and then I've got freedom. So there's, this person needs to break free from something and I feel like you also wanna break free, Virgo, because we've got wallflower withholding limited potential. So you feel like this person's withholding and not giving you everything. Um, you know, it, it'll be different for each of you. It's not always an extreme case of a narcissist, etc. that's like an evil person. I mean, for some of you, it is about timing and it is about, you know, um, getting on the same page, working through wounds and blocks, honestly discuss your feelings with each other um, and then a decision needing to be made on that basis. Um, so anyway, do what you will with it, Virgo, but I hope that that resonated for you. <laughs> And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.